This video is to get justice for Zachary Hammond, a 19-year-old uh, man, should say kid, in some people's eyes he's still a kid, um, who was shot in the back of the neck by the police for um, a low steam drug bus operation which turned out to be marijuana and that's it and the girl in the passenger seat his girlfriend who he's on the first date with got charged with uh, possession of marijuana um, I mean it was a good amount it was, it was, it was enough to go to jail for it's for sure um, but he she accidentally texted a state trooper trying to sell some drugs she said I got sixty dollars of the good sixty dollars worth of marijuana is not that much people of good well she accidentally sent it to an undercover uh, sent it to an um a state trooper um which played along with it and set her up and the cop who shot Zachary was the cop coming for backup and in the video you will see Zachary try to drive away um he did all he could not to hit the officer. I'm not taking that away from Zachary. He was breaking the law by driving away from the police. I get that. But in this video, this officer life was not in danger. And he shot and killed Zachary and hit him in the back of the neck. And here's the video. He said, I will shoot your effing tail. Um, I don't want to cuss. Um, his life was not in danger. Clearly in that video, he shot and murdered a man. And the state of South Carolina is not pressing charges against him, but the federal government can. And I beg the federal government too. Um, I have faith because there are plenty of people who will fight to no ends on our police force to say that this is murder because it is murder in the first degree. It does suck to have to get back in your car as an officer and try on a high speed chase. That does suck. But you are only supposed to fire your weapon if your life is in danger. And your life clearly was not in danger there. And I get it. He's, he's breaking the law. He's not perfect. People make mistakes. I've made a lot of them. People make mistakes. We all do. I'm not saying that he was a perfect kid. I'm not saying that he didn't even smoke marijuana. I'm not even saying that he didn't know that he was with the girl who was... I'm not saying that he didn't know that she was selling the drugs. But the point here is that he, it was the girl who got charged with possession of marijuana. She was the one who sold it to the undercover cop. And the backup cop shot and killed Zachary in the back of the neck. His family did an independent autopsy and the bullet hit him in the back of the neck yeah no one's taking anything away from him that he didn't try to escape and try to run away he did but he was not trying to hit that officer and that officer's life was not in danger and South Carolina just cannot believe that you will not charge this man with murder the federal government please <laughs> charge this man with murder because his family has to live with this for the rest of their life that their son was taken on a low steam marijuana drug bus gone bad like come on I'm not saying Zachary's perfect I'm not saying that at all but he got shot in the back of the neck and that is a case where an officer all he has to do is say that his life was in danger and he gets away with murder we can't keep having that happen I get it you have to do your job as a police officer, and your job is to bust and put people in jail. And, yeah, get back in your car. Isn't, you hate doing that. Yeah, that's no fun. You gotta go chase someone down. But you don't say, I will shoot your, and then shoot someone in the back of the neck. And then immediately say that your life was in danger. It wasn't. You just, I don't know what, you honestly were thinking in that moment but 
we would have to answer if we did that to someone just like you need to have to answer and the answering is going to jail and this is really to get justice for Zachary and his family.